here comes the technique part so I like to I would like to use three big chapter we can dig deeper or of course but we'll still keep it very basic with uh, the first requirement so I will make three big chapter first the posture second the placement alignment and then the motion so for the first for this first video we will talk about the posture what we want with the posture it's build a strong structure to hold the poundage and the weight of the boat and provide the best um, stability to the shot when comes the motion everything is linked of course but we will try to make it more chop chop cut to make the big lines so in the posture you want first to stay straight and steady so the best is to have a spine that is aligned in this plan and in this plan just standing straight so very easy we want to have a vertical line that is perfectly straight and hold it during the whole shot also we want the shoulder as low as possible keeping the spine straight this will give the T posture like if we are doing a T from this we want to orientate the shoulder to the target so we will see this with Therese in more uh, practical way but what we want is building up a T a strong T with your body to hold the shot so from that point of view we'll check if the archer has a good uh, building with the feet, the hips and the shoulder they should like be they should like they should be like bricks that you put on top of each other of each other so the hips should be in the middle of the feet and the shoulder on the top and here we see that she's building right but she's moving the shoulder a bit forward you're tensing up a lot to go ahead because before you were laying leaning back so now you're going over the edge so just stay straight when you lift the bow use your core to stay straight so from this point of view we will have the same observation of the archer the feet the hips and the shoulder if they are in the vertical line or moving a bit more leaning forward or back and try to adjust what we will take care also it's this part if it's too much curved it will create instability and most of people young and mostly ladies you can find this curve so the way to work this is to squeeze the muscles in the bottom and the core to make the body like a solid piece not over tense it but move the the hips uh, and roll it a bit uh, down like you want to squeeze the butt and we can see that here Teresa has a perfect line she's perfectly steady and vertical congrats from that point of view, what we want to check is the shoulder alignment. If she's well orientated to the target, or if she's like that when it comes to anchoring. Good. What you could do to help your archer to see that, either you film and you use a projector and you project the image on the target this way he can see himself live or you can use an arrow put it on the back you can use an arrow you put it on the scat on the back and 
then the archer can see the point. If the point is pointing too much left or right-handed, it means that the shoulder are not good orientation. If the arrow is pointing to the target, then it's fine. Very easy, you can use stripes or two chess guards and you lock it in each side of the chess guard, for example. What's very important is when it's to align the shoulders, it's to keep it low. If you squeeze a shoulder here with those muscles, then you have no motion. And it's from the very beginning, before lifting the bow, that you orientate your rib cage, your whole chest. So here, and from here you can start. So with this view we will focus mostly on the shoulders, how, which height and if they are balanced, if they are low from the very beginning and stay at the same height during the shot. Here we see that she's dancing in this area and this area. We would like to have attention more here instead of here. The lower part, the muscles that are tied to the lower, the, the lower part of the scapula. Because the point by lower, lowering, it's having muscles that are longer and that are stronger. These muscles are quite weak compared to those. Also, what we want is to put the point of the scapula, the point on the rib cage to create, yeah, but when, once you're in the line to have a tension, to have a good alignment and having a better motion at the end. You see here it was bumping and here it was bumping also. Keep it down, really good super good and here we don't see any bump it's flat and here it's flat still a bit tense here so it could be yeah more interesting but we see that the shoulder are still aligned that way so it's a combination the posture for the shoulder it's a combination of low and well orientated during the whole shot so during the preparation it's okay but once we come to the anchoring we want to have this low and well-orientated.